it gives my mind some relief from just the weight that can come along with depression and anxiety and anytime you go through something that is difficult or challenging like you're stronger at the end of it everybody has a story that's worth sharing and you never know who you could be helping by sharing that story my name is Christina Valdez I am 28 years old I am from Oceanside California and I am an artist I've been making art ever since I was a little kid. Um, my mom and dad both worked really long hours when I was a kid, and so it was just something that I used to fill my time, and um, I just loved it. And I don't really know at what point in my life it got into my head that like artists don't make money, and basically it's a waste of time. Nothing really like lit me up like art and doing creative things. Art's just really helped me so much in my life. I really was dealing with depression, but I didn't know what depression was. I had, you know, the dialogue around mental health really wasn't at where it is today. And yeah, I was just sad and I didn't know how to express myself in any other way other than art. Art's a working meditation for me the time that I can just not think of anything that's stressing me out or hurting me or whatever for like hours at a time. Just before that, I would just sit and, and dwell and just let my mind run and I had no like release or nowhere to put it. If I'm thinking about something in my head or going through something, I'll get an idea like of like how to symbolize it and I, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. That's how I know like, oh, this is really important and I need to paint it or I need to draw it um, and I need to share it and I need to like get it out. It just gives me like a breath. It gives me a break from these really heavy feelings. It's not that the thoughts completely go away, but I'm just so much more at peace. And it just, it, it grounds me. Whether it's an hour of sketching or if it's eight hours of painting, it's really just like whatever I need. It gives my mind a, a break. And just to have those moments just alone where I'm not really influenced by anything else in the world. Just, it's just a, a way for me to be self-reliant in facing the difficult aspects in my life and I find that I usually approach like the situation at hand in a better manner. I'm making art, I'm trying to make things that are, are beautiful and so I'm trying to pull the beautiful things out of whatever the situation is. All I want to do is to create that safe space for, for other people because I had no idea that art could be that therapeutic because when I did it as a kid it was just like something to pass the time and um, just something I really loved doing. But yeah, I was like, wow, like this really, this really saved me uh, in a lot of ways and I didn't even see it coming. I started making art that was about what I was going through, and I'm a woman, so um, I like to draw females, and I feel like the natural elements are a really amazing symbol for human resiliency. Like even the moon shines in the darkness, and I, I find that to be so beautiful. And so I include the moon in my artwork a lot because while it usually focuses on like these hard things that I've been through in my life, I don't like to dwell on those things. I like to look at the positive sides of the things that I go through. And you know, if just one person can look at it and connect with it and be like, oh, I felt that way, like then I feel like my job is done. I've gone out in the world and I've seen art like that and just that moment of, I'm not alone. It's all gonna be okay. It's so important and that's all I want to do.
So when I'm doing live art, I always get these butterflies like right before because it is such a vulnerable experience because you're, you're there and people can just come up to you and start talking to you. And I make art about things that are very personal to me. Um, and it's something I've been practicing ever since I started art is being able to like express that like through my words. Um, and so I always get these butterflies like right before, um, but they're good butterflies, you know, and I set my stuff up, I put the canvas up, and then once I'm going and the music starts, I feel so happy and I just feel really in the zone. I love when people come up and talk to me and they ask me like, you know, they just ask me about what the painting's about and I love that you just like bypass, like, how was the weather? How was sports? Um, and you just go like straight into the juicy stuff and the stuff that's real and the stuff that matters. And I would say like 95% of the time, whoever I'm talking to will be like, oh man, like, yeah, I've been through that too. Like. It's really hard or you know they'll offer advice or you know we'll just kind of have this shared moment of I just love being able to connect with people from the community that had I not been painting um, I might not have talked to or I might not have shared this really sweet moment with. I really enjoy so many different types of art. Uh, anything that really lets me express myself and lets me just be in it for hours. You know, I love uh, printmaking, I love illustration. Recently I've been exploring ceramics and that's been really fun. Like, I'm the most conceptual in painting and drawing. Um, with ceramics, I'm a little bit more whimsical and I like to do things just to like bring joy to others. Like I've been making um, these little series of astronauts and um, they're just so cute and little and I just like to just make things kind of just more for fun I think because I played with clay a lot as a kid and so I, I feel like a kid again when I'm in ceramics and I'm just playing with the clay and so those things are more playful. So for the past two years, I've been working with elementary aged students as an art teacher. And my reason behind working with that particular age group is because I never want a child to get in their head what I got in my head, which is artists um, don't make money, it's a waste of time, don't even bother. All I want to do is show them like, hey, it's possible and just be like the person that I wish I had when I was that age. If I could just do that for one child, then I just feel like my life purpose is, is done, you know? Like, to have that sort of impact is so meaningful f for me. Oh yeah, it's possible. And my creativity matters. I just want to encourage and inspire people to be creative and if I can do it you can do it like art is a learned skill and it just takes courage my hope is that people just don't feel alone and they feel a sense of connectedness even if it is a stranger or someone I don't even know like that doesn't even matter right like it's like oh man like okay like someone else is feeling that way I'm not alone, like we're all in this together. I feel like human beings are meant to be creative. I think having some sort of creative outlet in your life is so healing and so necessary. That is probably the hardest thing about art is not listening to all the self-limiting beliefs of like, oh, I'm such a bad artist or I'm not creative, there's no way. Or, or if somebody in your life has told you like, it's a waste of time. Don't, like that's the hardest part is just shutting those thoughts off and not listening to them. Don't let yourself get in the way of yourself.
publication title. Yes. And I'm an artist. <laughs> that sounds so fucking weird to say. Okay. Okay. Are, you, are we going? <laughs> okay.